Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. So in this episode of the pregnancy series, we are going to be recapping our gender reveal. As you all may probably know by now, we are having a boy. Baby boy. Yes, so we're super excited about that. And we thought that it would be really dope to also just highlight what we're hoping for as far as me being a boy mom and you being a boy dad. And with that said, let's talk about it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. What an incredible way to start the year. I know. Finding out the gender of our baby. Wow. And not only that, we have a whole gender reveal video. So mm -hmm. if you haven't seen it, go check it out because it is an incredible. You, it will bring a, a smile to your face for sure. We will link it in the description and the comments down below. So go check that out after you watch this video. <laughs> yes. When, when we first saw this sonogram right here, um, I thought, okay, it's a boy. The way that baby is chilling inside oh, the, true. with the leg kicked up, I initially thought it was a boy. Yeah. And everybody that was there at, at the gender reveal, we had them do predictions as well. Yes. So maybe we'll incorporate that into this video. Maybe. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Um, but we found out it was a boy. We popped that balloon and it was sheer joy. Yeah. It was sheer joy to be able to see. It was like. I mean, I was truly shocked mm -hmm. because I thought it was going to be a girl. So yeah. when it popped and it was blue, it was like, oh, my gosh. Yes, it so. was. It was amazing. It was such a pleasant surprise. And I think for me, I, you know, like you were team healthy baby. But it brought me so much joy because I know how much it means to you to have a son and to, you know, build that relationship with your son. And of course, you like like we've always said, if it were a girl, we would love her just the same and you would have a great relationship with your daughter as well. But you being able to have that father son relationship, I know how important that is to you uh, for a number of reasons. And so for me, it was just so happy to see the blue confetti yeah. and what it means for us. But the dynamic that you're going to have with your son. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And this is all God's plan. It's yeah. crazy. And it's just playing out before our eyes. But going into now knowing mm -hmm. it's a boy, mm -hmm. now we get to plan around having a boy. Yeah. And our Amazon baby registry can be influenced by boy stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like we can plan a little bit better. And right. Because there's some stuff that we obviously we know we can get. And there's a ton, to, a ton of gender neutral um, things that are out there that's nice that we can mm -hmm. get without knowing the gender. But if we wanted to have a theme or if there's some things that we feel like are sentimental to us with it being a boy yeah. or centered around his name, you know, we can start doing that now that we know the actual gender right. of the baby. And, and we've always felt like we wanted to know the, the gender beforehand. And yeah. I was more keen on the fact of trying to have a gender reveal than you yeah. were. You, yeah, I wanted she, to know immediately. I was like, I don't want a gender reveal. <laughs> yeah, she, she she can be a little, little, what's the word? You could be, like, she doesn't like surprises. No. Like, is she, which is kind of crazy to me because I'd be surprising her all the time with, with things. And it's out of love. You got to you gotta appre appreciate the love <laughs> that comes with it. Well, we also do relationship videos as well. That's going to be another video in itself because we can talk all day about that. I love the effort that you put into it and the intention behind it. So that brings me joy, but I do not like surprises. And that's fake news. And I've been very vocal. No, I, I just not won't accept that. Surprises. No, I just you won't. You want me to like surprises, no, I, and I just don't. And you have to accept that. No, but as I said, that is something we could talk about in another episode. So long story because short, because it it goes into communication. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so long story I'm short. Joking. Long story story short. The gender reveal was more my idea. Yes. But now that we've had a gender reveal, did you enjoy it? I did. Of I did very much enjoy it. Of course she did. Of course <laughs> she did. See, sometimes she just doesn't. She doesn't realize how fun something will be <laughs> until it actually gets done. She's like, you know, Shane, that was actually a good idea. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you surprised me like that. But I would have. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> okay, because. Ahead. You got to trust your man. Your man is going is going to have your back and going to make things memorable. I okay? understand and I'm not knocking you for that. I do think that you create 
help create great memories and there are times where i'm like no i don't want to do this but then in the moment i'm like okay uh, that was actually a great idea however when it comes to the gender reveal i would have been just as excited finding out much earlier (laughs) (laughs) I'm laughing because it's so funny because I would have been just as excited, but the gender reveal was nice and it was great that we were able to celebrate, you know, with our closest friends since our family, you know, couldn't make it, of course, and being a thousand miles away, but shifting gears, shifting gears. gears. So now that we know the sex of our baby, we know that we're having a baby boy coming in June. Um, We now know that we can start, planning extendedly like some of the things that we want for our son what are a few things that you are hopeful for being a boy dad man that's a loaded question yeah and a great question that i really haven't had time to think about um but you know obviously this this podcast and everything that we're doing here with these conversations is just strictly candid and Mm -hmm. we're just having authentic conversations so while i'm saying all that i'm trying to gather or what are you most looking forward to um, now that you know it's been confirmed that you'll be a boy dad, maybe that's a easier question. I am most looking forward to, and I can't say most because I, I need really time to think about it. Yeah, but that's fair. But one thing that I can say right off the top of my head is I'm really looking forward to showing him what a good man and a good father and a good partner looks like. Yeah. From a male perspective, because we're having a boy. So I want him to be able to see that. And it's something that I didn't have the luxury of growing up, mm-hmm. being able to have any father in my life. So I want I want him to see from his father, another man that he's going to eventually grow into. I want him to see what a good man looks like. Mm-hmm. I want it, I want him to see what a good husband looks like, what a good person in general looks like. Yeah. I want him to know that he needs to respect and honor and love women. Mm-hmm. And I want him to see all of that. And I think that's what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah. And I know that's going to take some time. I mean, yeah. you know, he's not going to know that in year one, year two, of year course, three. Yeah. But over the course of 18 years, I want him to see and and know what true love is, what a, a good man is, what a good partner is, what a good husband is, and what overall what a good person is. And yeah. I want to, you know, discipline him and make sure that he grows up the right way. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I, I didn't have that growing up. And I can now live through him with being able to give back the way that wasn't given to me. Wow, yeah, and that's that's really powerful. That's really powerful, and I appreciate you saying that because a lot of people did not, like you, did not have the luxury of growing up with a father, and it's so important for, you know, sons, especially black sons, to know what a positive father image looks like, mm-hmm. and not too many people have that, and unfortunately, they have to go in different directions to try to find that father-like image or, yeah. or role model, and so the fact that you are given another opportunity where you can now instill in your son what, what you didn't have the opportunity of getting, you know, the family around you did the best that they could, but ultimately, you know, sons need their fathers. And so I think that that is going to be a beautiful dynamic for me to see blossom over time from afar and see you guys nurture that relationship and build that on your own and him grow into the man that, we raised him to be. Amen. And it's all of those things that and, you highlighted and more. And I think that you really are going to take a lot of liking into that too, because you've mentioned it several times mm-hmm. how like you're really ready and, and want to see that mm-hmm. dynamic between me and our son. Yeah. So I think you're going to get so much enjoyment from that mm-hmm. as well. But from your perspective, yeah. what is one thing that you are most looking forward to mm-hmm. in our son from the mother's perspective like you I, I will say that is a very loaded question it's mm-hmm. hard to just pinpoint one thing so I don't think I have one specific thing outlined but I'm looking forward to 
I'm looking forward to building our own dynamic that's separate from you and him, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it makes um, 100% sense. That you can come to me for anything. I'm your support system. I'm your biggest fan. You know, I am here to guide you in the best direction as possible. Um, I'm your protector. And I just want my son to know that he can lean on me for anything. And I will not judge you or make you feel ashamed, you know, at least try not to, because right. we say that we won't, but nobody's perfect and right. we all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of things like you that I didn't have the luxury of having growing up, you know, I was fortunate that I did have my dad in my life, but I had a lot of, you know, struggles going up, growing up. Right. And for me, I want to be able to give my son the opportunities and the resources that I never had. Yeah. I want him to be dependent, uh, independent. I want him to be strong. I want him to be forward thinking, proactive, inquisitive, all of these things. But, you know, I want him to know that he he won't have to go through what I went through to get to where I am. Yeah. There's still going to be discipline and hard work in there. But instead of, you know, taking 10 steps to get there, maybe it'll only take you five. You right, know? So, right. And that's the beautiful thing yeah. about the progression of mm -hmm. generations. Yes. And we are setting up our child up into a great situation yeah. and a better a better situation than either one of us had. And yeah. I think that is what's so beautiful about us particularly mm -hmm. because we both come from humble beginnings. Yeah. We both come from a certain level of struggle that we've had to overcome and persevere through. Mm -hmm. And we can take all of those struggles and those challenges and those mm -hmm. obstacles that we've had personally before we even knew each other. And now we can turn it around and use mm -hmm. all of that wisdom that we've grown up with and that we had to face with in our adolescent years mm -hmm. and we can turn around and say okay we can do a little bit better right. in this situation we can give back to our son in a way in ways that we we didn't have yeah and i think that's always going to be on the back of our mind mm -hmm. every conversation every learning lesson that we have with our right. son jordan and say we want to be better yeah and also we want to ultimately through this relationship with our son is break generational curses that our families have suffered, right. you know, and I want him to be able to see that. And I think that through our, our actions, the way we treat him, the way he develops into the man that he's going to be, our jobs as parents to provide a, a certain life for him, I think that he's going to see that through our everyday habits and, you know, behaviors and us just coming together as a family that generational curses have been broken. And I think that's so important. I think that's so important not to repeat the cycle. And it's it's beautiful to know that not only we're doing that, I see that my sisters have done that, mm. you know, it, and it's all of us are choosing to, and this is no sh disrespect or shame or anything like that to our families, because we know that they did the best that they could with the resources that they had mm -hmm. in whatever circumstance or situation that they were in. But it's just beautiful that we're all choosing to say, we're going to take a different path so that this cycle doesn't repeat itself. Right. And I'm glad that we'll be able to be a part of that as well. And our son will see that generational curses have been broken and that's very that. very powerful yeah that's very powerful and like i said i think that's always going to be replaying in the back of mm -hmm. our mind because we grew up in a certain way where it's like okay now i know i can do and, and be better mm -hmm. for my son mm -hmm. and then he can go on and if he has babies he has boys and girls who whatever and he wants the same for his children he's gonna so want forth. the same for his children he's gonna see it from us mm -hmm. um the same way that aunt pam she instilled so much love in me mm -hmm. and i share that love because of what she given me yeah she didn't have much finances and n n none of my family did and uh my m mother really wasn't in my in the picture as you know Mm -hmm. um, but this is more so for the viewers. You know, my mother really wasn't in the picture. She was a, a drug addict. And 
you know, that really took a toll on me growing up. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, with her being a drug addict and, you know, being addicted all my childhood, there wasn't many times I saw her in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, And sometimes when I did see her, she wasn't she wasn't looking the best, you know, and those are things that that always you you see and you remember back in the day it's yeah like, you're in your hmm. 30s and this is something that you still remember very vividly to this day right. so to, it, it affects you the these are these are memories that you hold on to whether you want to or not mm-hmm. they they leave everlasting impressions right mm-hmm. and the everlasting impressions that i want to instill in my son's mind and brain and same with you are good impressions yeah and we're going to do our best to always give those good impressions and show true love between mm-hmm. us, his mm-hmm. mother and his father and put them, put them in good situations that are going to be better than what we had. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's great. Well, I think that this is the perfect time to wrap up, you know, this discussion. It's, it's very beautiful to see that our thoughts are aligned, but they're very different at the same time because we have different hopes for, our son and bringing all of these different things together is just going to really embody him when it comes, when, when you look at it from a well-rounded perspective. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see that we both have these different ideas and thoughts as to how we want to go into parenting our son. But, you know, the great thing is that the majority of it is a collective aligned mindset, which is so important because collective aligned mindset. I love that. Yeah. Because I mean, especially when it comes to parenting, like we're a team and we, yeah. we have to have an aligned mindset. And what we just displayed and what we just talked about mm-hmm. was exactly what you said, connected yep. aligned mindset. Mm-hmm. And we could do a whole nother episode on that, which yeah. I think we probably should. Yeah. But we just touched on that. And, those those words are just so beautiful yeah um and it's very important Mm -hmm. for the son yeah for our son and with that said we're just so looking forward to meeting jordan in the summer you know we can only we can only hope at this point because he's not here yet right so And, and it's 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 always risky to do this pregnancy series before our baby's here because you know anything can happen anything can happen but we're doing it as the emotions roll because we want to we want to share something that i know everybody that goes through pregnancy whether mm-hmm. you're doing it alone or you're doing it as a couple mm-hmm. you know everybody shares these emotions mm-hmm. and also just the the anxiety the fears the the ups the downs the challenges the successes yeah. you know we're, we're we're putting all of that into this pregnancy series about pregnancy and mm-hmm. love yeah and and we're being real about it you know we're not we're not coming into this thinking like well what do other people want to hear what's going to make other people happy we're truly speaking from our own our own experience because these are real life experiences and that's why we wanted to do it in real time and i'm sure you guys are seeing that through what we display in our videos but also we just hope that if you guys are watching this, you are gaining some value and yeah. insight from it so, and just like little takeaways that you can apply through your pregnancy or as you're preparing for pregnancy or even if it's something that you're just giving a thought. Like you yeah. may not even be ready to have children yet, but this video may pop up on your feed two years from now. Right. And, and, you, it's can something, just, yeah. and you can just see the dynamic and, mm-hmm. and the true love. It's really just candid. It's really authentic. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're trying or anything like that. We're just really having good conversation that I know can add value. So if you're getting any value from it, or if you just like the conversations, even if you're listening to your car or in the background, just listening, Mm -hmm. like comment, subscribe. It really does help the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this content. And we're going to sign off for today. My name is Shane and I'm Jen and this is the Yambors and this is the pregnancy series. Bye everyone. Enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm.